there guys, Crystal here, and welcome to our first installment of Glitch Gallery. In this stage, we'll cover one fun or otherwise interesting glitch per episode that can be found in video games. If you have a suggestion for a glitch to be covered, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to look into it, and possibly put it into a future episode. Today, we'll be going back to the year 2001, when Animal Crossing Population Growing came out for the GameCube. This is a fun little glitch that allows you to walk on water, and even gets the island without a link cable. To begin, you'll want it to be winter in your town. Wander around town looking for a snowball, and roll it down to either far side of the beach. Don't worry if it gets destroyed or falls into the river, there should be another one around town somewhere. Once you get it down there, roll the snowball as close as you possibly can to the edge without pushing it into the water. Next, you'll want to position yourself between the water and the snowball. What you want to do is drop an item right in front of the snowball, run down to the water, run back, and then pick it up. Repeat this process and slowly but surely the snowball will begin to wiggle downwards. With enough luck, this will eventually happen. Weird, right? You can walk around in the water and even stand on top of the fish. They don't seem bothered at all. From here you can wander downwards and you'll eventually stumble across the island. You can climb up onto the beach and explore around a bit, and Kaplan is even here to take you home when you get bored. If on the off chance you feel like exploring some more, try and get off the game map, it always leads to some interesting results. Once you walk into this black void right here, two things can happen. Some people report opening their map and seeing a jumble of text and numbers where their town name should be. On the other hand, when I open my map, it crashed the game. Basically, this happened because the game suddenly realized my character was out of bounds, and it didn't know how to handle that. If this happens, you can just reload your game. Nothing bad will happen to your save file, although Resetti will come and give you an earful, seeing as how you technically did reset your game. And that's it for this glitch. It's something small and fun you can try without messing up your save data, and it's an easy way to access the island for people who never bought the GameCube link cable. If you liked what you saw here today, then be sure to like, comment, and maybe even subscribe. This is Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.